Yeah, so one of the, the new debates that has happened, uh, particularly in the U.S., has been around the sanctioning of the IAX as a new exchange within the U.S. And so that in itself is not tremendously uh, interesting, except that the IAX has introduced a speed bump uh, in front of its exchange with a view to trying to dissuade high frequency trading activity. Why? Because in general, um, the, the, the popular uh, view is that that's somehow bad or evil. Now, um, our view on this is a, is a little bit different. And our view is that we don't necessarily consider speed to be either good or bad. We just consider it to be something that naturally happens within our world, not unlike the weather. Uh, and unfortunately, though, the weather itself can, uh, can be random. We can have, uh, you know, nice sunny days, which we all like. We can have uh, cold days, we can have wet days, and uh, we can have thunderstorms, and we can have tornadoes. And the fact is that the same is exactly true on our modern venues. But I don't believe that speed is the problem here, or at least it's not the root problem. The real issue here is time, or more specifically, lack of time. And to highlight the problem even more clearly, we actually can't tell time on today's modern markets. So the analogy I would give to you is, let's say you went into your local grocer and you were buying milk. And uh, you looked at the uh, best before date on the milk and all you saw was the year. And so let's say the year was 2016. You go, well, I'm not sure whether that's gonna be fresh milk or is that sour milk? And so you pick up another producer uh, product for milk and you see the same thing. It's a year, but it's now 2017. And then you go, well, hold on, what, what date is it anyway? And you look at your watch and all that there is on your watch is a year. And it says 2016. So here's the question. Are you buying fresh milk? Or are you buying sour milk? The problem is that you don't have sufficient data to tell you to inform your purchase decision. Why? Because you don't have time at sufficient granularity. In the trading world, in today's modern markets, a machine can trade in less than 25 microseconds. It can make a decision to trade in less than 10 microseconds, but yet we're looking at time in roughly a millisecond. In fact, the SEC just recently came out and declared one millisecond to be de minimis as it relates to the IAX and all events on the IAX. What does that mean? It basically means that the SEC is considering that anything within a one millisecond can be considered to happen at exactly the same time. All right, so let's consider that. If a machine is able to trade within roughly 25 microseconds, it can make a decision to trade in 10 microseconds. That means hundreds of trades can occur within one millisecond. To put that back in, in, in a term that everyone can use, imagine that we could not tell time with greater granularity than a day. So you basically live your day every single day and you cannot tell anything that happens within that day other than considering that it all happens at exactly the same time. You couldn't tell whether you had your dinner before your breakfast or your breakfast before your dinner. You couldn't tell whether you went home from work first or you actually went to work first. And this is the problem that we have on modern markets is that we can't precisely tell whether A became B, came before B or B came before A. What is it that we need? We need what, what we refer to as machine time. We basically need a watch that's able to tell us what the machines have done in a machine time world. In essence, we need to be able to say, did this machine trade and then get this result? To do that, we roughly need to be able to understand all events at approximately a microsecond of granularity.